Right guys, so uh, I'm out in the garage, just about to get all my kit ready. Um, and I'm heading off to a club water and uh, I'm really looking forward to it, to be honest. Um, not been out for a while. Um, it's a really difficult water. Um, and I've had some absolute stinkers on there, I'll be brutally honest. Some proper stinkers. Um, so yeah, it's a challenge. Um, but today and tomorrow it will be all about going back to basics and what I mean by that is my rigs, um, the old hair rig that you used to tie as a kid, just a, an old simple bottom bait rig. Um, so yeah, I'm sorry I'll try that on two rods I'm thinking, that's if I can get in where I'm supposed to or where I want to like I said and on my third rod I'll probably just mix it up and maybe put a pop-up on there and uh, yeah I'll try that so yeah really looking forward to it guys um, just about to get my bait ready and then I'll load up the car and uh, I should be gone within three quarters of an hour or so catch you on the bank okay guys so um, I've not got in where I, I thought I would it's not a problem because this swim where I've eventually um, got in and set up is um, it's a sandy bottom it's fairly clean there's a couple of little weed patches here and there um, but I've fished here a few times so I know more or less where they are so I'm gonna have a little feel around again um, just check over everything and then put my rods out um, but yeah simple and basic rigs is order of the day so um i'll keep you updated okay so it's um, mid-afternoon now um, I've had the rods out quite a few hours now. Um, I've had absolutely zero activity, no liners or anything. Um, but I suppose at this time of day, that's expected. Um, you know what it's like between sort of midday and four or five o'clock in the evening. It can drop right off. Um, so yeah, I'll probably bring the rods in in a little bit actually and uh, just check the hooks, check the rigs and the bait etc. Is. That's the pizza coming on, kid. Wow, yeah, oh, oh, yes. yeah Look stunner. at that <laughs> pizza with a backdrop like that. Awesome. Yeah. It's gone and gone and bagged one. Nice, nice coming, mate. 19.4, that one. Beautiful. Well done, mate. Thank you very much. What did you have it on? Spicy squid. 16 mil. Bottom bait, simplest rig. I've done. Nice. Okay, guys, as promised, this is um, a little insight into the, the rigs I was using. Um, so, this is, while well, they're both straightforward, 
like I say, it was all about going back to basics. And this one here is um, a coated braid um, with a 16 mil uh, Notoffee boilie on, which actually wasn't the boilie I was using. I was using this spicy squid, but just for the the case of this demo, I put this boilie on. Um, that is a wide gape hook from Bank Tackle. A um, little bit of silicon tubing. You'll probably notice here there's a break where I've um, took some of the coating off. So I like a little break there just to allow the hook to move freely, like so. Um, that just gives you more hooking potential, I find. So, yeah, very simple rig. Um, approximately nine maybe nine and a half inches in length from the loop to there um, I've got to admit I used to use um, quite short hook links and when I say short I generally used to use around six and a half maybe seven inches but um, I didn't feel confident so now most of my rigs are eight and a half inches plus um, like I say um, it's just personal preference really it's just something that I feel works better for me um, and moving on to this rig you can see it's a simple basic pop-up rig um, I've got another video on my YouTube channel um, explaining exactly how I tie this but yeah that's a choddy pattern hook um, 16 mil SB baits fluoro um, fluoro yellow that's a codex so that's nice sweet smelling boily that one a little bit like scopex um, yet again I've got a break in the the hook link there just so that sits up in the water nice and straight like so uh, without that break that would be struggling to get up to that nice angle there off the deck um, now I know earlier I was saying about um, longer hook links this is actually a little bit shorter this is about seven inches in length and that's simply because this is a pop-up um, again the I've got a coated braid that's the quarter end trap um, which is a very good hook link um, but in my opinion it's not a patch on this stuff the uh, the sorry that's not ESP that's the in fact I say ESP this is very similar to the ESP um, semi stiff which I have in my box down here somewhere let me just so this is the um, ESP tungsten loaded um, like I say that ESP is very similar to this bank tackle but in my opinion the bank tackle is actually better and um, it feels more refined the internal core if you like is um, it seems like it's bound together with a, a really refined compound um, and it really is it's a fantastic um, hook link and that is actually half the price of um, the Entrap and the ESP and it, it, it's actually, sorry let me explain, it's a similar price but you get double the amount so rather than your standard 10 meters of hook link you're getting 20 meters of this um, bank tackle hook link so yeah um, by the way I'm not uh, in any way connected to bank tackle um, I know you my regular viewers you've probably seen that I've done another video um, comparing bank tackle hooks to quarter hooks and um, it, it, it's just a case of when I find a product that's good value for money let's say or, or, or cheap if you like then I like to I like to promote it because I'm I'm a generally uh, an underdog type of person you know what I mean when you're a kid you like to see the underdog um, beating the big guys at football for example well I'm very similar with um, with um, big corporate companies corporations 
big companies call them what you like but yeah and I see bank tackle as um, the new boys on the block if you like and uh, I'd like um, I like small companies to do well um, but yeah I'm just saying it as I see I'm not affiliated I'm, I don't work for them in any way shape or form but um, the guys that have sourced this hook link um, they seriously know what they're doing because it's fantastic stuff it really is um, but yeah those are my two rigs very very simple um, whenever I do a rig or certainly before I I cast it out I always double check my um, hooks that they're sharp and these are razor sharp um, and if they're not I run a file over them until they are sticky sharp wherever the terminology is and then I will uh, apply just a touch of Vaseline just to keep the um, the, uh, the rust at bay. The reason for the pop-up was simply this. I wanted to present a different coloured bait um, just off the bottom. Um, it was a random thing, no real um, method behind it. It's simple as that. I just fancied trying something different, different bait, different colour. So yeah um, I really enjoyed the session um, great company with my mate Neil and uh, it was just relaxed um, no traffic noise just out in the middle of nowhere big lake and uh, and good company so yeah great session ad and uh, yeah that's about it guys so I'm done here thanks for watching hope you got something out of it if you did and you're not um, already subscribed to me, please consider doing so and uh, see you soon.